Hey everyone, I'm excited to launch this new series for GATE 2021 Aspirants. So this is a two week series with six videos in total. All of you know there are just three months left for GATE 2021. So this series will concentrate on how to maximize your preparation in this last 90 days. Like what could be your study plan, how to score at least 50 marks or what are the high written topics how to analyze tests and how to prep your mind to tackle new questions. So we will see these things in this series. So this series will be useful for all GATE aspirants whether you are writing civil, environmental science or whatever branch you are from. These all will be very short videos. We will not be wasting your time at all. Just try to follow along with these videos. Before we move on further, I'll tell you a little bit about APACD. So all of you know we are an e-learning platform and over the years we have boosted the scores of students by a huge margin. To know more about us, you can visit our courses website learn.apacd.in and you can also visit our blog at apacd.in slash blog. Both the links I have put up in the description box below. If you think about gate preparation, actually there are a lot of free and paid resources available around you. The only thing which you cannot buy is time. So it is all about making the best use of time available to you. So gate preparation is all about using the crucial resource of time effectively. Try to implement the things which you learn in this series. So I'll try to keep the things as simple as possible which you can actually act upon. If you have already reached a level where you have figured out most of the things and just left with practicing tests or practicing more questions, then probably this series is not a right fit for you. From a gate civil engineering point of view, let us see some major subjects and minor subjects what are they before we move on to other things. If you look at the past year weightage what they have given, so we know that aptitude and maths come for 15 and 13 marks. Then you have geotechnical engineering, transportation and environment which is like your other 30%. So if you add all of these marks, so this is coming about 60 marks. So this itself covers like 60 percentage of your paper. So you can concentrate on this and after covering these major subjects, you can go for the minor subjects. So in this also, there are some minor subjects where you can study very less but still score high marks. So that is like your, like in surveying, they ask about for five marks. Then you in fluid mechanics, there's a particular topic, open channel flow, where at least three to four marks come. Then the questions in hydrology are generally easy. So you can concentrate on such subjects even though they are minor that you can easily answer those questions which they ask in the exam. So once you finish this you can go for other subjects and you also have your structural subjects which consist of strength of material, structural analysis, RCC and steel. So what will we be see, uh, seeing in this series? What to expect? So the first video which we are seeing it is just to get you started. So at the end of the video I will provide you a subject checklist which can help get your preparation started and finish subject by subject. Then in the next video we will move on to a study planner where I will talk about what exactly can you do in the last three months and how you can plan your studies. Then we will see about how to score at least 50 marks. So there are some topics which will give you high return even if you study less. So you can focus on such subjects to score a minimum of 50 marks. Then we will see about how to analyze a test. So everyone gives test series and a lot of people would have told you to analyze the test and find out what mistakes you are doing. But how exactly to do it? So that we will see in that video and we will also see a bit advanced things once you complete this basic basic preparation related aspects. We will also move on to some advanced prep like 
how to identify and improve some weak portions so in every subject there could be some topics which you are weak on so how to identify that and improve on such things then we will also see how to prepare your mind to tackle new questions so a lot of times we will see questions similar to past year questions but there are questions which are totally new and you wouldn't have seen it earlier so how to prepare your mind to tackle such questions so that is what will give you an edge and help you become a topper for each of the video there will be a few action items things which you can act on with downloadable assets like pdfs or excel sheets which you can download just follow it up all the links you can find it at apcd.in slash gate which you which is put up in the description box i want every one of you to comment your name and how many subjects you have studied so far and if you have any questions which you want to include in this series do drop a comment for each of the subject you are studying i want you to do this so there is a basic checklist which i want you to do and once you have completed the basic checklist and those who are already studied most of the subject and aiming for like top 100 rank i want you to go over the advanced checklist as well so this checklist works for every subject so each subject you can keep on seeing like how at what level you are in and if you have finished the things given in this checklist so the first thing is have you understood most of the concepts like let us say you are studying transportation engineering see if you have understood most of the concepts like your stopping side distance or overtaking side distance or the fundamental traffic flow diagrams or the traffic signal related aspects and there is flexible and rigid payments so have you understood the concept behind the design of this payments so that is if you have understood most of the concept you can tick this make sure like you are making some short notes with important formulas if you are already referring to some booklet try to like highlight certain things so this will come of help during revision so even though you have studied and understood most of the concept sometimes we tend to forget certain things so that is when revision comes into play for that if you already have the short notes it will help you a lot then the next thing is once you complete this topics you should be able to solve past year questions so that is like a minimum requirement at least 60% of the questions if you see they keep on repeating in a similar pattern so past year questions is very important so if you have if you are able to solve them it at least means that you have completed to a certain level in the subject then after all this you should give at least one subject test and quickly analyze it so that will give you the confidence if you have completed the subject or not and after giving the subject test you can analyze it find out what mistakes you are doing what topics you should revisit those things you can do then another thing is you should revise the subject with formulas so that you can do start doing in december if you have completed most of the subjects or if you still have a lot of subjects to go you can revise intermittently like once one to two days in a week or you can start in january also move on to the advanced checklist so here i want you to bookmark certain things it's like let's say you are studying transportation engineering as you might be aware of nowadays they are asking slightly difficult questions which which is related to fundamental traffic flow diagrams or traffic signal in those apart from the usual formulas you have to apply your mind to answer them so if you find those concepts difficult you can bookmark such things bookmark as in note it down somewhere and note down some difficult pyqs or note down some new things which you saw in the test series so whenever you revise you can revisit them and try to understand it and give it a go again so this will help you get a certain edge over others to get the top rank and once you are given subject test if you have more time you can go for more subject test and try to strengthen even those small small mistakes which you are drawing try to keep on correcting them and you can also give mixed subject test 
if you are like facing a lot of silly mistakes or you are unable to understand questions properly so even like mid subject test can help you with it and most importantly you have to find out this thing in test series apart from questions similar to past year questions you find lot of new questions in gate so find out if you are able to attempt such questions you will clearly know whether it is a new type of question or not so find out if you are able to answer it if you are not able to answer it note it down come back to that concept again and revisit it during revision this is a very important thing if you want to get a top rank so whenever you are not able to answer a new question just go back to the concept and read it again clearly only then you will be able to tackle these new questions and also in both you try to attempt like at least two full length test and if you have more time give more full length test until you land on a comfortable strategy and it will also get help you like build your patience for a 3 hour test i want every one of you to go to apacd.in/gate where you can find all the parts of this series and downloadable assets and handouts so i have put in the put the links in the description box where you can check out and you can also download this checklist so i want every one of you to download this checklist and start acting on it so it is available as a pdf which you can download and print if needed or you can also go digital and mark mark in this checklist using your pdf readers and in the next video i'll talk about study planner like what exactly can we do in the last 3 months and based on the subjects how many subjects you have completed i'll also give you a free excel study planner which is little bit flexible with a guideline where you can plan the rest of your days so that we will see in the next videos and before i end this video so there are a few resources which i thought it will be helpful for you now recently we have started a gate aspirants facebook group it is for both civil engineering and environmental science aspirants so if you are planning to give gate or even in the future if you are going to give gate do join this discussion group this community will definitely benefit you so this link also i have put up in the description box and apart from this we also have everyday questions going on which you can find in our app and in our courses website learn.apcd.in and if you are looking for resources to help you prepare we have the following things we have basic and premium study package for gate civil engineering and also we have a dedicated test series where you can practice new questions and we also have this environmental science course going on we are not going to delete this videos so have a look at it when you are free don't worry if it will get deleted it's not going to get deleted and by the end of the series i am sure you will have a better clarity on how to proceed and maximize your preparation in this last 90 days if you enjoyed this video make sure you are subscribed and you have pressed the bell button and do tell your friends about this series like i told you before i want every one of you to comment your name and how many subjects you have studied so far and if you have any questions which you want to include in this series do drop in a comment we will take it up with apacd and consistent preparation nobody or nothing can stop you try to maximize your preparation in the last 90 days best of luck and thank you for watching this video